Hello, welcome back to the Trevor's Quick Test. In today's video, I will show you how to be into the BIOS in Windows 8.1 and 10. This has been a question that's been asked for quite some time without much of a clear answer. Some manufacturers' web pages give you steps to access in the BIOS, such as Asus's web page describing that you hold down the shift key while shutting down your PC and then holding down the F2 key while turning on your computer until it boots into the BIOS. Now, as you can see, this process won't necessarily be the same for all brands. With my HP notebook, when I do this process, it gives me something that tells me the system information, but really isn't what we're looking for. Try my best to capture the screen with this camera, but it appears that the text has come out pretty flippin' blurry. Now I've only tested this next process I'm about to tell you on a Acer laptop, HP laptop, and an Asus laptop. So this may not hold true to all brands, but seems to be the most successful from what I've read from Windows users online. To start off, you will, you will want to turn off the computer if it is already on. Then you will want to turn on and off your computer three times by pushing the power button every time you see the loading screen. You will not you will now get a message on the bottom saying preparing automatic repair. I'll then say diagnosing your PC. This should give you a blue screen with many different options. You can simply click restart and just access your operating system like normal. But if you want to get into the BIOS, click on Advanced Options. Here's the many different options I talked about just a couple seconds ago. You'll want to go over and click Troubleshoot. Then you'll want to click Advanced Options. And next you'll want to click UEFI firmware settings. Then you'll go over here and click restart. And it'll give you this screen with different F keys to press to access different themes such, such as this system information, system diagnostics, boot device options, bio setup, and system recovery or press enter to continue with normal startup. Click on whichever key it tells you for the BIOS. With mine, it's F10. Alala! You get this ever so familiar screen. And that's it. That's how you access the BIOS in Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. And at the blue screen that you saw a little bit ago, you can also find another option there that will let you boot into safe mode if you need to. Now this is a bunch of work to do just to boot into the BIOS or into safe mode. And why can't you just press a button like you used to do with the previous version of Windows? That's because with Windows 8.1 and 10, they have a service called Fast Startup. 
This is a mix of hibernate and a cold shutdown. It saves the current state of your OS in a file and shuts down. It is supposed to help make your computer turn on faster, but it also means that you can't easily boot into the BIOS. While you can turn off this service, it does not guarantee that you can then boot into the BIOS by one push of a button. It now takes seven pushes of a button. Now if you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and express that by clicking the dislike button. Also leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for future videos, and if you like the content I have been providing on this channel thus far, go ahead and subscribe. The worst thing that can happen is that you end up not liking my channel and eventually unsubscribing. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Wow, trying to use a mouse in the bio. Have I learned nothing in the last couple of years?